Today we're gonna compare two different picture qualities out of the Amiga 600. Now this one over here, this one over here, <clears throat> my Amiga 600 runs with an ACA 620, 020 processor, 4 megs of fast RAM, 1 megabyte slow RAM, map RAM, 2 megs of chip RAM, Kickstart 3.1, 16 gig uh, compact flash card, fully new, recapped, perfect condition. And on the RAM expansion, the 604N, we got the Indivision ECS that gives the VGA signal out to this monitor on the right side. This little, I think it's a 17, 19 inch. Uh, Acer 4x3. I love that aspect ratio. Old one, but it works great. Compare it with this, I think it's a 32 inches LG. And um, that one is connected with the, is it called composite? You know, yellow, red, and white. So we have composite there, VGA here, and the sound comes up from the, comes out from the, um, uh, composite what's it called phono cables from the left screen so let's just pick <coughs> I'm sorry guys let's just oh that's no not many games done with X XP8 Zenex Xenon 2 this one looked like set out set out one disk set out two disk Whatever, dude. All right. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but look at how it looks here and how blurry it looks over there. So the ECS scan doubler, I mean, it looks amazing, guys. Yeah. First time I have seen this game. Oh, what the hell? Oh, uh... No. Is it over here? Yeah! Oh shit. Alright. Um. Oh, nice! Oh, I got 5800 left. Let's check this bigness out over here. Nice. Um. Then what? What's this? We got 4,600, let's check this, no, can't, then let's check this, 2,100 left, I don't know, we have a lot of money man, oh, okay, let's try, alright, <laughs> You, I mean, the red, it, it's red here and it's orange like over there. Oh, yes. Uh, we have auto fire on. Oh, I love games like this. Let's compare the picture quality. I mean, I used, when I was a little kid, I had, oh, slow down, guys. I had the Mega 600. Oh, oh, oh. If my, uh, okay, we have it. This yellow one is the energy bar, all right. So if my shots, oh my god, um, I'm colorblind. I uh, I wanted to be a police officer, and green is just one of the colors that I can't, you know. Uh, oh my god, this game is really hard for my eyes. When I look at the left side, it's just <laughs> how did I play like that? And I used the RF cable, uh, the picture quality I used when I was a little kid was even worse than the left, the, the, the left screen over there. So this is, uh, oh man. But I love it down here with the individual, individual ECS VGA out. It's beautiful. With the O20 processor, we have incredibly slow downs guys 
time. I love shoot 'em up games, they're just my favorite on the Amiga. What? Do I have to wait for him to come out? And then shoot him? Oh, there we go. Alright, guys. Oh, slow down. It's a fun game. Oh. Z out. Try it, guys. It had one disc and two disc work version. This is the two disc version. I don't know the difference. As I said, first time I tried. Okay. Oh, nice. We got a lot of slowdowns. Maybe this would be better with an O30 processor. Oh, oh one shot. All right, guys. <laughs> well, that's the, um, I mean, I don't know. You can't see it on the camera, but flickers like crazy but on the camera it actually doesn't flickers the left screen over there it's just <laughs> yeah it's not the greatest this individual ECS adapter it's connected to the Amiga 600 on the one megabyte of chip RAM expansion card that's also from iComp and if we just enter workbench of course, this screen it runs 16 by 9, so it's 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 stretched out to widescreen. I know, but um, oh man, there's just huge difference in between. I just want to show you the oh my god, the O20 is. I haven't used the O20 for a long time, and I just want to see the. Compact flash reading speed <clears throat> on the 16 gigabyte with the ACA 620. It reads, I uh, think it's about one megabyte. Yeah, one megabyte per second, guys. Nice. So let's check out the speed of this little accelerator card ACA 620. It's 68,000 EC020. So we have no FPU installed, it's an easy model, no MMU of course, and then this one says 17.60 megahertz, so I think it's clocked at 16 megahertz, uh, that's nice, O20, and if we expand, we're just a tad faster than the Amiga 2500 that runs 14 megahertz, that's about right, again, MFLOPs not available because we have no FPU, MIPS 3.39 and dry stones 30. 2,500, no, oh, 3,200, <laughs> I'm used to the 060, sorry, <laughs> 3,257, all right, only Amiga makes it possible, guys, that's nice, neat little system, look at the quality here, look at the blurring at the top, no, it doesn't flicker on the camera. Well, on the real deal, guys, it doesn't look that good. <laughs> the O20 is a nice system. It can run WSG load games and demos, and it's pretty compatible, but it, it's, it's slow if you are used to... I've used the O60 on my Amiga 4000. That's it, it's not as compatible, but it's just it's just so fast. I love the O60. I have only had the revision one, so I'm looking forward to someday owning the revision six. That doesn't get that hot, and it can run in incredible speeds. So let's try 
to load something with T. T-Bird, T-Racer, Terminator 2, <coughs> Turtles, oh man, Time Runners. Turbo, Turbo Tracks, I know that one. Oh, this was great. Oh, Turkey, guys. What the hell? There we go. Turkey 3, 1993. Let's just load this one and enjoy the difference between the picture quality. Yeah, yeah. Especially the red color. I mean, this looks dark red brownish for my eyes. <laughs> and this looks, you know, purple like. And it's white and washed out over here. This is uh, crystal clear white. And over there is just mushy. It's, it's, it's hard to explain. I could check the camera just a tad. Closer like that. I just wanted to show you the text, but now the text, of course, it moves. <laughs> of course. Oh man. I'm telling you, the VGA out is. It's a must have, guys. It's a must have. <laughs> okay, let's just zoom in on this one now. Enjoy. I love this game. Again, the sound was coming from this one. <laughs> it's a little odd. I just want to see if this one also has some slowdowns. Oh, no, no, oh no. Of course, I'm using auto fire again. Love auto fire. Turkin 2, it was the only Turkin game I knew back then, and then I think a little late I found out about Turkin 3, and oh, and I didn't like, I, I, I love this game, but everything except that, how do I... So, okay, you hold it down. I love everything except that arm over there just destroyed everything for me. And now I started my Amiga Love back in 2018 where I found about Turkin 1. Great, great one. I love Turkin 1. It's, it's actually pretty good. Oh, okay. I like the uh, Turkin 1. It's okay, but this one. I want to love this one, I mean, the shooting part, all this jumping and all that, it's it's amazing. I just wish that he didn't use that arm. Oh, oh please. No, not that way. Uh -huh. I made gameplay video with uh, a game called Catechis. Made a short video with that one. Showed you the. There were two different versions. And. Your response, guys, was just great. In the beginning, I, I made a um, few gameplay videos. And you guys were like, don't do it, it's boring. <laughs> make a hardware reviews. So I stopped them. But now I made one gameplay video and you guys really liked it. So if you like it, I will keep on making them. If you don't, then I will just go back to my hardware reviews. This is actually a hardware review. I'm showing you the difference between... Whoa. Oh man. 
Did I say I didn't like this one as much? I love it. <laughs> it's great. I haven't used that. Oh, oh. Damn. <laughs> Alright guys, I want to say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one and let me show you this beautiful Amiga. So it's just easy to, to, to take those on out and take your Denise chip out of your Amiga 2000 and put this one in and the Denise chip on top. Then you have VGA, VGA out, scan doctor on your Amiga 2000. That's just great. So thank you for watching. Until next time, please hit that subscribe button. That would just make me so happy, guys. Have a great day. Bye.